Heading to Pennsylvania, the House of Representatives Archives hosted a unique exhibit this year celebrating an important anniversary for women serving in the House. WENY Pennsylvania Capitol correspondent Kara Jeffers reports. 100 years ago, eight women walked through the doors behind me, the first woman in the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. The 19th Amendment was ratified in 1920, making 1922 the first year women could run for office in the state. They started their terms in January 2023. I think it's great, and especially since we had eight, it wasn't even just one, it was eight at one time um, from all areas of the state. Three women hailed from Philadelphia County, but others came from Cambria, Butler, Chester, Crawford, and Allegheny counties. A hundred years later, the number of women who have served in the Pennsylvania House has grown from eight to 260. Their accomplishments are not limited to legislative victories. Um, so this is from former Representative Ruth Rudy. She patented this face shield here um, back in the 70s and 80s so you could protect your face from hairspray. This year was more than an anniversary for women in the House. Pennsylvania has the oldest continuous legislature, and we've never had a break uh, in almost 250 years. Joanna McClinton is the first female Speaker of the House in Pennsylvania. We haven't had one yet, so we're kind of writing history as we're preserving it at the same time. And to be the first woman to do that, I take it seriously, and I'm just so grateful for the opportunity. And as Pennsylvania's first female speaker thought back to the first eight representatives. It shows that we've always been prepared and ready to lead, ready to serve, ready to participate in these serious conversations that happen in Harrisburg. It's amazing to see how our history pages continue to turn and what will it look like 100 years from now. Someone will have to tell us. <laughs> Kara Jeffers, WENY. Pennsylvania's 2023-2024 legislative session has over 60 female representatives serving in the House, and you can visit the House Archives website and search for biographies of every member who has served.